Hello everybody, all my very dear audio friends around the world. I'm gonna be quick today. My name is Paul, this is my studio Warsaw Point, my humble YouTube channel. And two videos ago I made a video about Melda plugins asking why are people kind of afraid of using them? Why some musicians and producers don't want to use them? You're gonna find this video uh, here. And one of the main factors seems to be GUI and general user interface and graphics issue. And somehow I forgot, I just didn't mention one thing. You actually can make Melda plugins look more smooth and more modern. And a lot of users don't seem to even know it. I knew it. And for some reason, I just sticked to the default look of Melda. And today I'm gonna show you how to hack this GUI to make it look a bit less cluttered, more, more smooth and more modern. So let's go. And of course, if you like my channel, my studio, my videos, please consider subscribing somewhere here down in the corner, getting notified, liking this vid and commenting on it down below. Did this new kind of new Melda look made you convinced to give them a go? Let's go. Plus, if you just started considering buying Melda plugins and would like to support me a bit too, you're gonna find some affiliate links down below. Mm -hmm. All right, people, and to show you what's up with Melda GUI, I took the session from the previous video about my mixing chain, vocal mixing chain. You're gonna find this video here if you're interested. And I'm not gonna play you anything. I'm not gonna tweak Melda. That's not the thing. GUI and general look of the plugin, this is the thing. Because, mm, yeah, seriously, like, I made a mistake, I should have mentioned this, that you can make Melda plugins look like this. Exactly. And probably for some of you, this is a surprise. Is it Melda at all? Yes, because when I was reading the comments after releasing the video, I realized that many of you don't seem to even know that there is such an option in Melda plugins to customize deeply their GUI to make it look, for example, like this, but not only that. And I'm gonna try to show you what and how can you do with Melda look and how you can save it. So it's your default look loading each time you load a plugin. Guys, you go into settings and you've got this GUI and style. And when you choose style, you're gonna have a couple of styles here actually. Aluminium, Argon, Artillery, Bakelite, Carbonium, Ironic, and some more with this neon default look, which is not too modern and not too clean looking, and the rest. And frankly, the rest is not helping much uh, for getting this clean, comprehensive look, but this Argon thing, this is the thing. You can somehow admit it's better like this, right? Not only that you can change the skin, let's say, you can resize the GUI here. You can choose the background color. Let's change it to anything we like. Ha, <laughs> like this. Uh, text and shapes can be also different, but we're gonna keep it white. Also, inactive uh, elements can be different. Tile and border can be different. We can give it, for example, this green Melda look. And highlights also can look different. Uh, and I'm gonna show you this now. This is how it looks now. The same clean look, different colors simply, uh, different GUI uh, uh, scaling. And you can also select current style as default, so you can save it. So each time you run this plugin, each time you bring it to your insert sense, whatever, it's going to be by default. I'm not going to use this as default. I'm going to bring uh, up my default style, which looks like this. And moreover, you can create a random style, so it takes any... Uh, style, any visual style, and it, and it applies colors for you, different colors for you, as you can see. And well, it's just endless fun with different combinations, but 
I'm just fine with this. And again, it really looks quite better, right? Not only that, because I'm gonna take another plugin, and multi analyzer, same story, very clean look. It's the same complex, the layout, the logic behind the plugin are exactly the same, but still, it is nicer to look at this and work with this, right? Plus, I'm gonna take maybe one more. Yes, I've got same uh, look applied to this one. It doesn't apply though to a couple of Melda plugins and M Turbo EQ is a good example here. Yes, because all the surroundings, the digital part of the interface is sleek and modern, but the inside, all this physical analog-like mm, GUI cannot be changed and it's uh, particularly painful for Poltec saturation and massive passive saturation as for me and you can't change it. And still, this part is not satisfying, Melda. But the rest, please guys, tell me what you think down below in the comments. Does it improve potentially your adventure with Melda? Is it something that's gonna encourage you to use Melda? Because for me, it was a change, a major change uh, for my Melda experience. And I'm again, sorry, I don't know why I didn't talk about it at all. Not even enough. I, I just skipped this topic and I shouldn't have, I should have showed that to you in detail, yeah, like I did in this very separate additional video. So again, please tell me what you think down below in the comments. You're gonna find some Melda links also down below, and I hope to hear from you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.